it's Dorleen, and on that tip, top left corner you see a sketch that I'm working on today for the sketch and scrap challenge blog and if you want a better look at that uh, sketch and also this layout you can go to my blog which I'll have the address down below and also the sketch and strap sketch and scrap challenge blog uh, in the information box below as well so um, I had done a kit for my hiking photos because the year 2020 20. We did a lot of hiking um, because that was the year of the COVID closures. And so we did a lot of outdoorsy things. A lot of it was just local areas, but um, we did try to get a little bit further out where we didn't have to drive too far. But anyhow, so with these papers or with this layout, I knew I wanted to do that brown background. And I did, um, I went through that kit that I made and I wanted more blue pictures. I'm not sure why, Mostly I was thinking because of the river that we're doing the photos with. Now, even though this isn't a blue, it's almost like a teal or a, um, aqua. I don't know what you want to call it, but um, it worked really well with the photo. So I was really happy with them. So um, I won't show you when I adhere them, but basically I adhere both these two um, uh, sizes of polka dot papers. And um, I, I cut them, excuse me, I tore them using my L ruler at three inches each and on the smaller dots which I'm doing right now I um, cut those down for three inches by 11 so I tore off an inch off each side and then I just adhered them kind of layered them on top of each other so the main focus on this these pages are actually getting photos so I'm going to let you or you'll see that the photos that I'm using are three by four and I also have some I'm going to say they're two by three. I don't know the exact measurement, but how I made those is I go to Walgreens, which I'm sure any photo developing place, you could do the same thing. But what I do is you create a collage using a four by six um, base. So um, that way you can get all the different sizes. And this is really fun to do, especially when you have a lot of photos. And um, again, I just do mine with... Um, with Walgreens and I really wait until they have like all photos 50% off or something like that because these are a little bit more expensive I want to say they're like 40 cents each which isn't a lot of money but when you get them on a discount that's even better right so earlier I showed you some cards four by six cards that were part of a um, cutaway sheet and I was originally going to use that fresh air one which was all blue as well but I thought that was just way too much blue so that's why I chose this the great outdoors one and then you see on the left I have some just random cuts um, Cricut cuts and stamped um, embellishments that I had made previously for this kit and um, so it's like I said it's a very simple page I've done another layout another two page layout with more of this particular hiking trip so I wasn't worried too much as far as um, journaling or really adding a lot to the story it was just adding more photos because we took a ton of them and I'm really sorry about the glare I just have this what we call the sun it's a big fluorescent light in um, the my command center which is the name of my craft room and also the name of my blog so um, anyhow so I'm just adhering the pieces down and once I do that I think you know I'm going to do a little bit of stamping because I felt like it just needed a little something so I have some um, adventure I'm, I'm putting my um, fingers in air quotes stamps and I saw the these two of this hiking boot um, footprints and originally I was going to just stamp them on that bottom half which you'll see me do and I just kind of have them going from the bottom up um, that little foam sheet comes with the stamps so that way it gives a cleaner image when you're stamping these acrylic type um, or poly acrylic I'm not sure the name you know what I'm talking about the clear stamps <laughs> um, I just haven't used these stamps yet so that's why I took, put, took out that scrap piece of paper stamped it first before I did it on the page but I just um, stamped them like I said going up and then as I'm stamping and looking at the layout I decided to put the foot or the shoe prints boot prints whatever you want to call it going above the pictures as well and you'll see me do that in just a second but I really like the way that looked because it really brings your eye up to see all the pictures again I wasn't working or concentrating on any journaling because I had done that a lot of journaling on the pages before it's just a matter of um, putting some more pictures down and just doing a really quick and easy scrapbooking layout. So this sketch also showed a little, um, I want to call it like a little banner extras on that top left corner and on that bottom right, which I just uh, pointed out. So what I decided to do is to grab some scrap papers. Now I have scraps 
um, I do different colored scraps and I put them in Ziploc baggies. And I also have just regular like eight and a half or eight by 10, whatever you want to call it, magazine holder type things that my sister had gifted me. She gifted me like six of them or something crazy. So not only are my scraps in the Ziploc baggies, but they're also in these magazine holders so it gives it a little bit more sturdiness when I put them on my shelf so I went through there grabbed some brown scraps and then I decided to tear those as well I like the teared look because I feel like it's kind of rugged and since these are outdoor I don't really want to say rugged because it wasn't like we were um, really uh, roughing it or anything we just went on a day hike to a local river which we had never gone to before um, but uh, anyhow, I just like that look with the outdoors pictures. So the, the little um, words that I have are from a 12 by 12 sheet. And it's all kind of like adventure quotes. And I've used a lot of them in other layouts. But um, I just cut out some that I thought would be cute with this. And it took me a minute to really figure out where I wanted them. And I play around with it. And at the end, you can see what I decided to use. But um, I think it just adds a little bit. Again, just more words. And I'm really just trying to use my stuff. Um, I did create a kit, like I said, for my hiking photos. And in that kit, I have, you know, papers that I thought were outdoorsy, um, any of these cuts, cricket cuts, or um, just stamps, things like that that I've done. And um, so I'm kind of trying to use those as well. I did a little um, splatter on the top left corner as well as that bottom right. And you can see that there. And that's really it. Hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Check out my blog to see more information and get more details. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Happy scrapping. Bye.